it's card of the day and this is card number 135 titled cantina troubles all right well let's learn more about the cantina Nearly two decades after the Clone Wars, the Cantina was still profiting under the stewardship of Shaoman, bringing in profits even under the reign of the Galactic Empire. At one point, a holographic video screen was installed by Shaoman for sports broadcasts, but it was removed after the Holonet Entertainment feeds faced constant interruptions from Imperial alerts. The Cantina gained a permanent ban when the Bith Figrin Dan gambled away the ownership of the modal nodes instruments in a rigged card game with card Ardu Sai Malak. One reason Shaman's Cantina was so popular among spacers was the Fabritech droid detector that Shaman installed in the foyer. For a long time, Imperial Sentry droids made private discussions between smugglers and crime bosses all but impossible. While the detector didn't keep the Sentry droids out, it did warn everyone that their activities and discussions were about to come under Imperial scrutiny. This enabled everyone time to compose themselves and present a perfectly innocent demeanor. Shaman's also had a strict no droids policy to prevent people from bringing their own droids into Cantina with them. Following the deaths of Owen and Beru Lars in Zero BBY, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and the young Luke Skywalker made their way to the Cantina to look for a pilot to the Alderaan system. There, they finally met with the co-pilot who would soon fly them to Alderaan. Han Solo and his co-pilot Chewbacca. During talks over a trip to Alderaan, Skywalker encountered the Aqualish scoundrel Panda Baba who threatened to kill him. In defense of the young man, Master Kenobi removed Baba's arm with his lightsaber. When the Jedi and his charge quickly fled attention in the cantina, Han Solo prepared to leave but was stopped by the Rodian bounty hunter Greedo. Greedo, employed by Jabba the Hutt to kill Solo in compensation of a debt the smuggler owed, was not able to fire a single shot before Solo killed him. All right, that's it for now. More information on the next Cantina card. And now it's the back side of the card and it's official description number two of 22. Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ben Kenobi, a once respected name in the galaxy, is now an outlaw in the Tatooine Mountains. Years before the rise of the sinister Galactic Empire, this wise and peace-loving wizard was one of the greatest fighters in the Old Republic. Even now, in his old age, he still threatens the sovereignty of the Empire because of his very special powers. Well, that's card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram.